Hello again, Dinky Danny here. Today I'm going to show the device called Mr. Backup Z64. I showed this in a video yesterday and I got a bunch of questions, so I decided to just do a full review of it. So let's take a look at what this thing is. On the top here, you've got an LCD screen where you can go through the menus. You have the up and down, you just flip through menus, which I'll show you later. You have the enter button, and then over here you have a slot for putting in an N64 game. And on the bottom you have a port that goes right into the Nintendo 64. And then also on the back you have the power switch and the power adapter. So let's put this thing right on top of there. It just slides right in. And let's take a closer look. This device works with most Nintendo 64 games up to 256 megabytes. So games like Conker's Bad Fur Day, which are 512 megabytes, won't work with this. And what you have to do is you have to put in a default game that it'll recognize, and I'm going to use Super Mario 64. So you put the game in over in this slot right here, and then I'll zoom in and turn it on and show you what the menu looks like. So here it loads up, and then you have the option to play the cartridge or back up the cartridge onto the zip disk. So I'll show you just play cartridge, hit the enter button. It asks you to turn on the Nintendo 64 power then. Once it turns on, it loads up the game. And there we've got the game. And you can go through and play it. It'll save to the disc as long as you have some space on there. And you can just play the game like you normally would without the device. So let's turn that off. Look back at the device. And it goes back to this setting where you can play cartridge or back up the cartridge and you always have to have this default cartridge in there or else this device wouldn't work properly and the benefit of having this is they have zip drives that you're able to put into the Z64 over here on the right it has a zip disk drive right there so what you're able to do is you're able to put the zip disk into the system For example, this one's got a bunch of games on it already. So we'll put that into the right over here. Just slides right in. And it'll load that up. So we'll let it load the games onto there. So here we've got Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, and it shows you how much memory it takes up. Rogue Squadron, Goldeneye, NHL 99, Snowboard Kids, Rampage and MAME 64. So let's take a look at and actually it'll show you here backup cartridge. This disc has 20 20 megabytes free. So let's try um, Goldeneye. Everybody knows that. Now if you take a look over on the side I still have the Mario 64 plugged in. You have to have that default cartridge in there at all times. And I hit the enter button and it'll load up Goldeneye. And once this hits 100, it'll load up the game and you can play it just as if you were playing the actual cartridge. Alright, so it's about done right here. Loads the records and save files. And then it asks you to turn on the Nintendo 64 power. And once you do that, it'll play the file. And up on the screen, it loads up. Goldeneye. And I'm sure a ton of you remember this game. So, and it plays just like you had the actual cartridge. So, you could have gone out to a rental store, bring the game home back it up to a zip disk and then you can play them all from those discs so you could save about seven to ten games onto one disc and it's really nice even now just to have a collection on one disc so you don't have to pull out an individual game every time you can just pull out these discs and play games so let's turn this off and take a look at the MAME which was on here and it's just saving that anything that you have to save or any save files that you changed so let's switch to MAME 64, we'll hit enter, it'll have to load this up to 100 again, 
and I'm assuming that you'd be able to put homebrew games onto these discs. Any type of ROM I would assume would work. I know it does on this CD64, so I haven't tried it. I don't have a zip drive to hook up to my computer, but if I could find one of those for cheap, I'll try and find some kind of homebrew game and see if it'll work on here. Alright, so that loaded up, and let's turn the power back on. It plays the file, and on the screen, it brings up all these games. So, I don't know exactly how many this is, but you got 1942. Let's see here, we'll check out uh, Donkey Kong. So you can load that up, change all the settings, dip switch setup, joystick controls. And it has a ton of games. I'm not sure exactly how many it has on here, but I'm assuming that you could load up any games that you want. And then all you have to do is hit the reset button, and it'll take you back out to the menu, and you can load up. We'll do uh, we'll do 1942 here. It's got Pac-Man. It has tons of games, so you could play all these games all on one disc. And I could just imagine how awesome this would have been back in uh, back in the late 90s when you could go out rent. 20 games, put them all onto these zip disks, and then you'd be able to play them any anytime you want. It would save you a lot of money. And uh, at, right now, you can't really find these on eBay, I guess because they're not like, able to be sold on there because they're technically emulating the games and illegal. So, but it was a really cool find picking this up, and I'm um, having a lot of fun with it so far. I am going to try and back up some more games, hopefully, put my favorite games onto one disk, and then just be able to use that the whole time. So that's a quick review of the device Mr. Backup Z64. This thing cost $300 when it first came out, and if you played enough games back then, it definitely would have been worth grabbing. I really wish I would have had one of these back then. I would have been able to save a lot of money and play a lot more games. So that's my review. I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.